Don't touch that remote. Culinary Quick Tips is up next. Hi, welcome to Culinary Quick Tips. I'm Chef Alan Scheidhauer, chef instructor here at Greenville Technical College. And today's Culinary Quick Tip is going to be on measuring by weight and by volume. This particular technique is one that we teach here in our food production class 101 and in our food production uh, class in Bake Shop. Uh, what we're going to cover today is the difference between the, the use of volume measuring, which is two different types. We have a liquid measure that we use in volume and we have a dry measure and the use of a scale. Now, a lot of people think that whenever we measure something, we can go ahead and measure a cup of something means that it's eight ounces. Well, this is not true. A cup of something in, by weight, when we say eight ounces, we mean liquid measure. There are only four ingredients that we teach our students that you can measure by liquid weight measuring, meaning eight ounces is a cup, and that is milk, water, eggs, and butter. These particular things can be measured in a volume measure as eight ounces and on a scale as eight ounces. The big misconception is that when we measure flour, we can go ahead and measure eight ounces of flour is a cup. This is not true. If we measure eight ounces of flour, first of all, the way we do this is we simply put the, the flour into the cup and we always put it in with a spoon or another instrument. We never want to pack it by scooping the cup in there because it packs it and mismeasures it. We scrape it off and make sure it's level and then we put it on a piece of paper or something to put it into our mixer. Now, I just measured out approximately three quarters of a cup of flour, but if I measure a cup of flour, it's actually going to weigh, in an all-purpose flour, it's going to weigh approximately five ounces. So it's not going to be eight ounces. And there's where the problems are with a lot of y'all's recipes. Uh, another opportunity that I have to teach you here on a tip is put it on the paper. When you're trying to put this into a mixer, you simply can pick it up and you can shake it into the mixer. And it's less filling than trying to take the cup measure and shake it into your mixer. That's our tip for today. If you want to learn some more tips, you can give me a call. Greenville Tech, 250-8303. If you're interested in our program, our culinary arts program, you can visit us online at greenvilletech.com. Thank you and have a great day.